Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is the Tech News Update. We are Friday, July 20th, 2018, and today in our Tech News Update, we have uh, an insider preview build that will not arrive this week. There are apparently, there's first of all, a blocking bug that is preventing the release of a new version, and um, I've actually read an article that says that there's also some little changes happening inside uh, the Insider team and the way that all of this is happening, uh, which I guess uh, we'll eventually know what's going to change. So, uh, no build. We're still at 17.713. And, of course, uh, hopefully, we'll have something next week on the Insider Previews. Interesting number is popping up again for Windows 10 um, you know, installs and, and usage. So several months several months back, um, we had a number from Microsoft that was almost 700 million PCs. Then it was repeated again a little later, almost 700 million PCs. Well, at the uh, Inspire conf conference that Microsoft had, Satya Nadella just said, well, they're all, almost at 700 million PCs. And it makes you wonder, almost, almost, almost for six months or something. What does that mean? Are Windows 10 installs stagnating? What is actually happening? Because at this point, we would think that we would be above 700 million PCs, which is apparently not happened. They're still, or maybe they haven't gotten a new number. I don't know. But that's weird. Microsoft has announced its latest earnings report, a, uh, of course, revenue growth of 17% year over year at $30.1 billion for the quarter. Cloud is still the big winner. And, of course, we learned that uh, pretty much every division, including Bing, is increasing. And Office 365 has hit 31.4 million consumer subscribers, which is an amazing feat when you consider uh, what it is. So uh, I think Microsoft's on the good way of doing things. Internal documentation at Apple and um, also a MacBook Pro teardown from one of the websites calling uh, iFixit shows that the new membrane that they actually put over the keyboard butterfly keys are there to really help mitigate the uh, crumbs and the dust that can actually accumulate that makes the keys not work very well on the uh, Apple MacBook Pros. So uh, this is interesting. And um, according to iFixit, it really works. A uh, interesting first contract. Of course, Alphabet has its Project Loon, creating high-altitude balloons that have and deliver internet access. Well, they've now f finally signed a contract with Kenya and uh, we had talked about this a few weeks back that they were thinking about it. Well, it's official now. These high altitude balloons will deliver fast internet access across the country. Well, the Microsoft OneDrive app for desktop will actually get a little better. First of all, it will, they will improve upon the control panel of options in OneDrive. And they will add also better battery saving ability for laptops. It uh, should be rolling out at some point later this year. But it shows that uh, they kind of understand that OneDrive, even though interesting, needs a few changes. The uh, tech giants, Twitter, Facebook, Google, and Microsoft, are working on a common data transfer platform that will actually make it easier to transfer all the data from one platform to the other online seamlessly, without effort or almost. And uh, this is good because, I mean, how many times do, do you want to transfer some data from one, um, you know, tech uh, website from another and just don't know how to do it and what you should do, actually. This is kind of cool. Hackers in Russia were able to steal $1 million by hacking into the main router of a Russian bank. And, you know, this is one in a series of theft of money due to that. It seems that uh, these types of attacks will be more and more popular in the near future. And uh, that, you know, they got to really ramp up the security there. And talking about data theft, money theft, and security, why do medical data need to be protected and not stored online? Well, 
Singapore is the great answer. Is a great answer. Is the great example. We uh, just saw that Singapore was hit with a data theft that sold 1.5 million patient data. That's one in five Singapore residents that has its personal medical data stolen. And it tells us that we need to make sure that that type of data is safe. Facebook is uh, interesting because they were explaining, you know, when we access Facebook, it's fast, everything's working well, and I we always wonder, you know, how these big companies are able to do this. Well, Facebook explained this week how it created its own tool to configure millions of servers to make sure that the service runs smoothly. And it shows how difficult also at the same time it is to maintain such a huge service. Facebook owns millions of servers across the world. Pretty impressive to see how all of that works when you start looking into it. This was the Tech News Update for Friday, July 20th, 2018. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.